so thrilled. Paula Pampa Craven, am I saying it right? Yes. <laughs> is here with us from Easter Seals. And, and I had said earlier in the show that Easter Seals has been with me since I was a child. And I was just sharing with you that my mother was born with two club feet and was in braces until she was probably 19 years old. Wow. Played basketball in wow. braces. She was that kind of a, a person. <laughs> and my grandmother would always say, if it weren't for Easter Seals, I don't know where we would have been. Mm -hmm. And I was saying, I know that Easter Seals has been through some changes over the years. Mm -hmm. And maybe if you could start by informing all of us about how it started and how how it's gathered speed to sure. get us till today. Sure. So we started, Easter Seals started about a hundred years ago in Ohio. And I think you mentioned your mom was somewhere near that in, area. In Iowa. Right? She was born and raised in Iowa. So what happened was um, Edgar Allen, who is the founder of Easter Seals, lost his son in a motor coach accident. And what he found right away was there were no services mm -hmm. for children who had um, been injured or hurt. So he set up these hospitals and it, it originally it was called Crippled Children's Society. And so they did did things like rehabilitation and adaptive devices and so forth. So that's the braces and so mm -hmm. forth that, that maybe your your mother had um, yes. had been offered. And then um, they started to sell the seals a while uh, later to um, for as a fundraiser. Mm -hmm. And people started to associate the two. And so they eventually changed the name to Easter Seals. And the nice thing about Easter Seals is we are different affiliates throughout the nation. And so each affiliate really looks at the needs of the community. And so Easter Seals in Southern California, which is the Easter Seals I represent, we look at what are the needs within the community, mm -hmm. which is how we got to autism services. Well, and so I, yeah, as I said, from my childhood, we, we talked all the time about Easter Seals and how it helped children that had special needs. It hadn't occurred to me that Easter Seals had extended that mm -hmm. to autism and extended right. it in a huge yes. way, yeah. not in a small way, right. but more and more families were writing in and we were talking about where are you? Do you have funding? Mm -hmm. And they were writing in and saying, we have Easter Seals mm -hmm. funding. Mm -hmm. And I and I remember having a day here, I went, of course, that makes total sense, but it didn't occur to me yeah. that you guys had made this shit. But you have an initiative right. that's all about autism. Tell right. us what that's about. And we've had an autism initiative for many, many years, especially mm -hmm. when we started to see the diagnosis increase and so forth. And we've served adults with autism um, for many years through our adult day services, our work first program program, our residential services. Um, they weren't specifically for autism, but we always have had people with autism within our service lines. A lot of times they were not diagnosed because sure. they were 40, 50 years old and yeah. they didn't have the diagnosis then. Yeah. Um, what happened was when insurance service, the insurance mandate came about, mm -hmm. we started to partner with Kaiser Permanente mm -hmm. and they came to us and said, we really want one source of service for our members with autism mm -hmm. and we want you to be that source. Okay. And so we worked really hard to gear up. Um, fortunately, we have a wonderful infrastructure at Easter Sills. And so we were able to really get to the point where we were able to offer services to children and young adults. We do have some older adults that we serve through okay. Kaiser um, Behavioral Services for um, in the home environment. We also provide speech and occupational therapies. And currently we serve over 3,000 individuals in Southern California alone. Wow. And some of them have multiple services, so maybe up to 7,000 types of services that we serve, um, these are 7,000 individuals who each have maybe multiple services. Okay, so help me to understand, because I was thinking that you guys were a funding source, but it's sounding more like no. you provide no. the actual services. Right, we are service providers. Wow. So we provide behavioral services in the home. Okay. Um, similar to what you showed ABA. on. ABA, yes, we talking ABA about early service. intensive behavioral yes. intervention right. today. Um, right. So you're providing the, that, those service therapists are coming, therapists are coming to the home to right. be able to do that, wonderful. Yes. Yes. And then you, you were mentioning you you have uh, things for older yes. uh, individuals as well, right. including helping with job placement yes. and, uh, of that nature. Right. It's our work first program. So we assist people to find jobs. We support them in their job. And it's one of the things that we're very proud of because we feel that all people have the opportunity, should have the opportunity, have the right to earn a living. Oh, well, yes. Amen mm -hmm. to that. Mm -hmm. 